we all go through a lot of changes and roller coasters and relationships. Yeah. How did you guys sort of relate to all of this? Well, I, I think we felt like the film, you know, dealt with relationships from kind of a new angle, but actually, you know, revealed a lot that's very, um, you know, honest, and honest and truthful about relationships. Uh, and I think, you know, I think you've gone, you know, but Zoe, I think, had a lot of experience by the time she was 26. Uh, she can tell you, but, um, you know, and then we brought our own experience to it, and everyone kind of brings that to the, to the party. But uh, we were just excited to kind of um, see this story that we have seen before, the Pygmalion myth, and get to kind of take it a little bit further than maybe it's been done in, in films before anyway. She said. Yes. I, no. I. Yeah. I. I. You know. Exactly. I agree. Ditto. Ditto. That's why this. Marriage yes. Is I know. I know. <laughs> when she's right, no don't additional. No. I, don't. No arguments. No. Um. I, I think it took me a while when I watched the film. I, I enjoyed it, but it really sat with me when I went home. And I, you know, like my husband called me. He's like, "What's going on?" I'm like, "Nothing." Oh Lord. He loves her. I'm like, "Yes." Um. What? Um, how would you describe the film? I think I had a hard time describing what it was. That's it's good. Fantasy. Yeah. Wow. No, what we like about this film is it's not really a romantic comedy. Um, it's something different. Someone described it as a mix between Annie Hall and Frankenstein. So, you know... <laughs> we like to think of it as sort of a genre-bending film. You know, it, it may feel a little bit like a romantic comedy, but then I think it goes to places that most romantic comedies don't go. So... Um, but then I think in the end, uh, it's, it doesn't leave you completely depressed at the end either. So It doesn't. Um, and then one last question for you. How, how was this for you from like the male side? Well, I, I like that this film doesn't pull its punches. You know, there are things that are said in the movie that I think all men feel and maybe don't like to admit. Um, but I, I think it ultimately, you know, is a hopeful message about the way we all get along, and uh, you know, I think, I think audiences, men will certainly identify, but I think women will, you know, hopefully, hopefully feel like they're properly represented. <laughs> Definitely. How are you?